welcome back to the Pig Trail. We're still talking some football, guys. Let's switch it up a little bit. Let's talk about the defense. Linebacker, will they have some depth this year, Tom? Well, they say they will, yeah. and John Chavis has sounded, Chief has sounded like they will. Uh, I think that they feel good about whatever position they put Grant Morgan in with the, with the second unit. They're really high on what Hayden Henry has done. And based on the Beanie Bowl yesterday, it looks like Deion Edwards and Andrew Parker are kind of in that mix, and Devon McClure mm -hmm. in addition to Bumper Pool. So what did I name? About six guys right there? I think they feel pretty good about playing any of those guys. Yeah, I agree with all of that. I mean, Chavis was asking. I don't think he, I don't think he hypes. Okay. And he said, we, no, we have depth there. That was one of the big questions. And, and if there was a maybe a kind of a thing we got wrong at the start of camp it was that was going to be the big problem area and he's basically saying right now it's not uh, and I also also think that Scooter is just going to have a fabulous year yeah. I mean you, you know I hope I don't jinx him there <laughs> but this guy he's so good that they really haven't pushed him in camp because you don't want it to in a guy like that but I think he this is his last go around he's the leader of a group that I think is going to be pretty good and I think he is going to do a lot of really big things, and then that's going to kind of elevate the entire position. Yeah, he got advice from the NFL folks, be a better third down player, be a better pass drop guy. He's applied that. He had a bunch of picks early in camp, and I think he's going to be more involved in uh, pass defense and have some picks. Well, they don't have Dre Greenlaw. They don't have Ryan Pooley. You think some of those guys can step up and fill those voids this year? Well, I mean, you look at what Greenlaw's doing, so is there a second guy like that? Because last year, you know, you yeah. had Scooter and Greenlaw. Right. So is there a second guy? I look for a lot out of Bumper Pool. I think he did. If you go back to what he did as a freshman, it was pretty, pretty remarkable. Yeah. So if he elevates some this year and is more comfortable from the beginning, then I think we can expect a lot out of him. So I think maybe you got a trade off there. But again, behind them, I think you're in a better situation. Yeah, being more... Uh, read and react, knowing what you're anticipating, what you're going to see and reacting is going to be big for them. And speaking broadly, I think they feel pretty good about what they're going to get at D tackle with the two seniors, Aguim and Smith. And to me, how those ends play, what kind of pressure they can get on the passer, and how they hold up against the run is going to be so big because neither Gerald or uh, Gabe Richardson is a the prototypical long limbed defensive end. So those guys have got to stand up and they've got to create pressure from them and blitzers. Yeah, you talked about it a little bit. Sosa, I mean, he's just been such a good player for them over the past couple of years. What kind of year do you guys see him having? <laughs> Myron Cunningham <laughs> is their big new offensive line hope, right? Yeah. They release occasionally little videos that we don't have because we don't we don't get to right. stay long enough. And in one of these videos, you see you see Sosa just blow Myron Cunningham <laughs> up. I mean, there's a little swim move, and it's like, it's like that. You know, it's like that Miami-Florida uh, game last yeah. night. A guy's in the backfield with on the quarterback in like two seconds. <laughs> so I think Sosa, he's got the move. I think he's going to be a problem for opposing uh, offensive lines. Some of those younger guards, they've gotten an eye-opener in this camp. Oh, I'm sure. By his quickness, his agility on the inside, and I think he's going to make an impact. Well, let's talk about this team for a little bit. I want to know what your take is on how many wins this team can actually get this season. Tom? Well, Tara, I'm on record. It was in the Democrat Gazette today. Today, our special okay. section, I had them 6-6, six and six, and I had that as a sweep of the non-conference games. I had them defeating Mississippi State at home and Missouri in the season finale to be bowl eligible. Okay. I'm not going to guarantee that's how they get to their six. <laughs> if they go on the road and beat Ole Miss in week two, huge uh, dividends down the line and, and confidence for this team, and it could propel them to maybe a little bit more, but I'm going to stick with my 6-6. Six and six. You know, what's what's the bottom of the barrel bowl in the SEC? <laughs> Birmingham Bowl, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, I think they'll get an opponent, and yeah. they'll get in that bowl game and get an opponent that's beatable. So I'm gonna. The only difference with Tom is I'm gonna say they win that bowl game and they're seven and six. So I mean, you guys sound pretty optimistic. Why do you think that fans should be optimistic about this team this year? I just like the way they recruited. I think there's been some young players that are that are added in that will help. Mm -hmm. I think they've got. I think one of the things is because Chief has said I played too many of my, my starters too many minutes last year, and that defense collapsed toward the end of the year because they were exhausted, not because they were terrible or just gave up. They, I think they were worn out. So I think they're going to be fresher uh, on both sides of the ball, and I think they got better quarterbacks. <laughs> Fingers crossed on that one. That's a good Tom. one, Mike. Uh, I'm just going to take a step back here. 
<laughs> All right. I think in year two, there's a better room for them to make an improvement because it was a new coaching staff. So there's room for improvement. There's faster players at a lot of different positions. And then think about some of the games they had last year, even when everything was new. Seven-point game against A&M and LSU. Uh, very winnable game against Ole Miss. They scored 31 points on Alabama. Uh, they came up with a nice game plan for that game. So I think... You apply all that with better quarterback play, playing faster on defense, and they have a chance to get to the six-win mark. I hope you guys are right on this. I'm really excited about the game this season. We have Portland State on Saturday. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Mike Irwin, as always. Tom Murphy with the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. We'll be back with more on the pig trail after the break.